Because now has never happened before, and it only lasts for now. I just heard that commercial on the radio a second ago. Um, I guess it's just a Pepsi commercial. Um, and it's a fairly stupid commercial on top of that. But uh, I like that little phrase they give you there at the end. Now has never happened before, and it only lasts for now. Live for now. Um, so, this is Big Anklevich here. Hi, everybody. Uh, I've got this tablet um, that I bought. Gosh, it's been like six months now. Um, I did a weight loss contest at work. And everybody put in 20 bucks, and then whoever won got like a half of that, half of all the money. And then like the second place people got uh, some money as well, but not quite as much. They got like a quarter of it or whatever, second and third place got some money. So anyways, a lot of people did this weight loss contest. And uh, when I won the contest, I earned myself like 220 something dollars or something like that for winning this contest. So I decided I would take those winnings and I would invest them in a tablet. And for the most part, I've barely used the stupid thing. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I, I've never had a cell phone, or I should say a smartphone, because, basically because I can't afford it. I'm too friggin' poor to have a smartphone. Um, so I, I don't understand how to use this thing in a worthwhile way. I have Angry Birds on the tablet, and I play Angry Birds on the tablet sometimes, but like useful things, I haven't found a way to make it do useful things yet. I have this program, this app, I should say. It's an app, not a program. I'm an old person if I call it a program. Uh, I have this app that is called Easy Voice Recorder. And it's a free app available in the Play Google Play Store. Uh, and so I, I was thinking, I, I've been using it a little bit as I drive to work to record myself, talk about story ideas and things like that, just kind of as a way to get them down. It was something that Rish recommended that I do. Sorry about that pause, that was me making sure that my drink didn't spill as I turned left. Because that was how I got in an accident once, was when my drink spilled all over the ground and I'm, as I looked down to try and pick it up, I crashed. Since I have this tablet in my hand, as I talk to it while I drive, uh, I was a little worried there for a minute. I wanted to make sure that I didn't cause any roadside problems. So anyways, yeah, I, I've, I've recorded myself um, speaking story ideas a little bit. Uh, I don't know if that does me any good because I'm never able to listen to them later and like transcribe what I've written. Uh, what I was really hoping to be able to do with this thing was speak out loud and have it type stuff for me, like a dictation kind of a thing. And I was so excited when I discovered that there is such an available thing on here, like a Google Voice... Uh, thing is already set up on the keyboard. You just touch it, you talk, and it types stuff for you. But I discovered that it only works while you're connected to the internet. And since this is just a Wi Fi thing, I can't do it while I drive. So once again, it has proven to be less than useful. But I thought. Since I've been doing these recordings, I thought it might be interesting as part of my blog to do a webcast. A kind of a that gets my goat, um, but just me talking as I drive to work about whatever uh, I feel like talking to. And if you are interested, if you give a crap, then you can listen to it. If you're really hard up for podcasts or whatever, or... You're just a frickin' rabid fan of the Doonstief and you can just never get enough. And uh, uh, Doonstief Audio Fiction Magazine and the Doonstief That Gets My Goat and the 
freaking uh, podcast that dares not speak its name, all of those aren't enough for you. Well, now there's the big Anklevich webcast, blog cast. I was thinking actually of calling it ankle cast. That's good, right? Because like if you break your ankle, you have a ankle cast and an Anklevich podcast to see what I did there. You did see what I did there, right? You did. I, you saw it. I know you did. Don't, don't say you didn't. Okay. <laughs> so here I am rambling about BS, and it's gonna be uh, unedited. Um, so I'll have to edit myself in my head and try not to say the truly awful things that usually come out of my mouth and only say the uh, politically correct and um, non-damaging things instead. So uh, anyways, yeah, today is January 1st, 2013. I am headed to work. Uh, unfortunately, I got to work New Year's Day, and I worked last night on New Year's Eve, but I did get Christmas off, so that was nice. It doesn't happen um, all the time because, unfortunately, television news is an everyday thing, and they don't, uh, they don't, even, they don't take time off for anything. They just make the schlubs work, which, unfortunately, generally means me. Um, so schlub here uh yeah i thought since it's january 1st i might talk a little bit about what i've been thinking about doing for my new year's resolutions and whatnot um i was looking i i i really want to get myself writing um one thing that i've learned in the past about resolutions and goals and things like that is that you have to make them, you have to word them the right way. If you say, I'm never going to, I'm I'm never, I'm going to write every single day of 2013 and that's your goal, well, on January 4th when you manage, don't manage to write that day, well, you've already blown it. The whole year is over. You don't need to continue on because that goal has turned out to be a a bust. Um, So you have to word it the correct way so that even if you mess up, you can still get back on the horse and keep going and you don't have to give up. Or, I mean, you don't have to anyways if you're doing it another way, but you probably will. But if you word it the right way, maybe you won't. And so I'm thinking that I'm going to make a series of goals for writing for the year. There'd be like a yearly goal and a monthly goal and a weekly goal and several other little goals that go along with it. Um, One of my goals is going to be that I, at least once a week, but probably as many days as possible a week, um, I wrote in the first place every day but if I do that then I won't be able to do the ankle cast which is so awesome but uh, I originally wrote record myself doing story idea sessions uh, every day as I drive to work and drive home from work I could probably still fit it in because I do have a damned freaking hour and a half long commute when you count both to and from work. So I'm sure I could do an ankle cast and a story planning session in one day without any trouble. But uh, that's one of my goals, to do that and to transcribe those things when I get to work or when I get home. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what I can do about it. But uh, I think... It's definitely going to have to be a top priority if I want that to actually happen. Um, 30 minutes a day riding was going to be my goal. And uh, um, 
I was going to try to use my lunch hour for some of that. And, uh, and then, you know, what, whatever I don't finish, I can do at home or wherever I have time. One thing that's cool about this tablet is it came with a keyboard, a full-size keyboard that I can just plug the tablet into and I can type. So I can use it kind of like a laptop. Um, I haven't done it yet. I've, I tried the keyboard out once when I first bought the tablet. I put it on there and just to see how it worked and then as soon as I, I saw that it worked I took it off and I put the keyboard back in its box and it stayed there non-stop ever since so maybe that'll be another way where I can finally make this tablet be worth having worth the money um, that I could have wasted on something else and instead I wasted it on this uh, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try doing that. I'll bring that keyboard with me where I go so that I can type on it. Um, one thing that I think I may need to do if I'm going to ride on my break, on my lunch break, is either go out to the car and do it or some, just get away from where I work. Because if I stay where I work, most likely somebody's going to come and ask me to do something and then I will not get my lunch break like I should and I also will not work on writing on my lunch break so that's something that I will uh, be working on as well um, so yeah that's going to be goal 30 minutes a day and to go along with that goal 30 minutes a day uh, I'm going to try and write also 5,000 words a week, which I, I used my calculator on my tablet. See, I'm already using this thing for everything. It's like I can't, it's like my right arm now, but I, <laughs> I used my calculator and discovered that 5,000 words a week means 715 words a day give or take. It's actually like 713.5963247979. And if I wrote 715, that actually gives me 5,005 words. So if I wrote 715, I get a bonus five words a week. Of course, I will try and write even more than that a day. I'd be happy to write a thousand or two or three thousand, whatever. Um, I'm not going to limit myself to 715, but I want to try and at least get that far. But a half hour a week, 5,000 a week, and I figure 20,000 a month would be my monthly goal, which is just 4,000 times five or times four, um, since there's basically four weeks in a month. And uh, then my yearly goal, I, th I thought I would go back to old Liz Mirzyskiewski. Myers Jewski, Mirzievsky's uh, thing that she started before she disappeared off the face of the earth, um, which was the 25 stories in 52 weeks thing. I think 25 stories is going to be my goal, which is two stories a month plus one, I guess, right? Because 12 months, so 24. But uh, that's basically, it's not even a story every two weeks because there's 52 weeks in a year. So that leaves two weeks off uh, for that. So, for some reason, I remember there being four weeks off. It was supposed to be like you had the month of November off to do NaNoWriMo if you wanted. And I think I may try and do NaNoWriMo this year, too, somehow, if I possibly can. Um, I've never tried it before. I just consider it ridiculous, and I come up with excuses like, Oh, sweeps is in November, and that's too hard for me. <laughs> but uh, if I ever want to be something other than lame ever ever want to be somebody who actually achieves something, then I think I may need to give up on my BS and my excuses and my whining and just, you know, actually do these things and, and achieve them. 
So for now, I'm going to put that as a, as a possible goal for the year. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try. Today's the first day of the year. I'm going to try and get in 715 words. Um, I'm not sure what to do about times in between stories, you know, because you write in the story, you are getting word count, but when you're planning a story, you're not, I mean, it's not word count. I guess in that case, um, I'll have to just say that it's not so much the word count that I'm getting, but the time that I'm putting in. If I get my 30 minutes a day, then it still counts. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be working on getting the characters and the, and the uh, step outline put together for my new story, which is called Sunny and Gray. I'm going to try and write that. I, I, it's going to be a long story, so I'm worried that it may kill my whole uh, trying to get 25 stories in in a year. But, you know, whatever. Um... I guess we could say this, if a story is 10,000 words, then it counts as two stories. Um, we'll say a story is 5,000 words, so if I've written a 10,000 word story, or a 15,000 word story, then, you know, that ups the ante. That, no, that doesn't up the ante, that ups the total. Um, anyways, so that is uh, gonna be the very first, the inaugural ankle cast. Uh, next week, I'll try and do another one, and I'll put it on there, and I'll talk more about uh, goals and, and, and whether I achieved them for the first week, and who knows what else I'll talk about. I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about something more interesting to people who don't give a crap about what I've talked about this time around. Uh, maybe I won't. Probably I won't, because I'm really not all that interesting to begin with. That's more Rish's thing. I'm just the straight man to his, you know... Gracie. I'm the George to his Gracie. Although George had a fairly decent career. Maybe it's just because he got, he lived forever and continued to work until he's a hundred years old or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, uh, rambling. I'll quit. I'll see you next week. Have a great summer and best wishes to you.